Today I am going to be showing you how to take a color photo, isolate certain areas of that photo, and turn the rest of it black and white. So the first thing I'm going to need is a photo. I am going to use this photo right here. So once you have your photo either taken from Elements or uploaded from something you downloaded, what I want to do is go and make a second copy. So I'm going to duplicate that and line it right up over top of the one that I just put in there. Then I'm going to go over to Edit. I'm going to go into Magic Grab. Now sometimes Magic Grab will grab what you want to take and leave in color. But a lot of times when you're just doing like, I just want to do the red in this photo, it's not going to do it. So I'm going to have to use the brush tool. So I'm going to click on the brush tool and I'm going to take the size of my brush down a little bit. And then I'm going to go and I'm going to grab everything that I want in to keep. So I want to keep all the red items in here. So I want his socks or his, um, what do you call these things? Shin covers? I don't know. I'm not a sports chick. Um, to me, this is soccer. In other countries, this is football. So, you know. So I'm just going to grab everything that's red. I'm going to use my big one at first, and then I'm going to come in with a smaller one in a minute. To grab those smaller areas, I'm going to take my brush sides down some so I can get into some of these smaller areas and try to grab those good and just get in there and get that stuff. Now, I've seen some people use the brush tool and just kind of like brush over what they want and it picks it up. Sometimes that works, sometimes it don't. So I just kind of like to be a little bit more careful when I do it so I don't have to do it multiple times. And I want to get in here. There's a little spot there. I think I'm going to take it down just a little bit more so I can get a little bit back in here. There's some a little bit of red there, but I can't really see it. So I want to get here. I want to try to get his little red stripes on his sleeve. Let's see if I can grab those. And once it looks good, what I'm going to do is go ahead and grab. It's going to take a couple seconds for it to grab. And then I want to see if it grabbed everything that I wanted. It kind of looks like it did. So I'm going to go backwards so it'll go back into its spot. I'm going to go in a position now and I'm going to take the one that we just grabbed from, which would be in the center of your layers. So it'll be the second spot and I'm going to go ahead and delete that. Oops, I didn't delete it. <laughs> okay, go and delete that. I didn't mean to copy it. I do that all the time. So now you're going to have the original and just the ones that you uh, grabbed from. So I'm going to click on the original. I'm going to go back into edit. I want black and white. So I'm just going to get a filter. So I'm going to come down here and go in my filters. I'm going to pick the slate because that's the one I kind of like to use. And that's how you do that. So if anything happens and you like, okay, so now I'm going to group these together. I'm going to make it bigger. And I was like, okay, well, this little piece right here is still missing. I wanted that and that. You can go back in the elements, grab that picture again, line it up on top like so. Let me go down and make sure I got the proper sizing for that. I'm sorry, my chihuahua's over here making noises. Make sure that the sizes match on these. And then what I can do is go in there and try to grab the little pieces that didn't make it. So I can go in the brush tool and go down and try and grab this little piece off of his sleeve. And we'll just do that little piece off of his sleeve. And then here I can just scoot that over and then group that. And now I've got that piece back on his sleeve. And like right here, 
that same thing if you want to go in there and redo that you can just do that little section you don't have to redo the whole thing just get your photo and bring it back in like so make sure it matches the same size as the original go on to edit go to magic grab it didn't grab the first part of that his piece right here so we're going to try go ahead and grab here And I'm going to go grab. I'm going to take this. Trash it. And now that top piece is it. And I'm going to go ahead and group that and bring it back in. We'll make it big so everybody can see. And now you can see all that's back in there. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Um, sometimes you're going to have to do a little extra work like I just did with grabbing some pieces that might not have came through all the way. But it's just simple. Just keep layering it over and, and grabbing what little pieces wind up missing if pieces are missing. Especially if you have small little pieces like this that it doesn't grab off the first bat. And that's how easy you can do that. And this is the original. And now here's your your color black and white with colorized version of just the red easy peasy lemon squeezy i thank you guys for stopping by please like and subscribe if you made it to the end of this video and as you can hear nanny's talking to you <laughs> hi nanny who are you talking to boo boo anyway guys love you see you on the next one bye y'all